Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in our previous section, we have discussed that how we can basically add our data in the database. We have added the product resource. We have uh, performed all the CRUD operations. And now before moving on, I want to add a new section here of error handling that how we can handle our errors on the back end. All right. So if you have taken my previous course on Node.js APIs, then this, this uh, section is same because I'm going to use the same logic here for error handling. If you have taken my that course, you can definitely skip it. But I am going to add it because many of our students are new here. So they don't know actually how to handle the errors. Like we're going to create a global error handler to handle our errors. All right, we're also going to catch our async errors that occur in this controller methods. Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to create a error handler class. And then in our next video, we will create our error middleware all right so first of all let's create a new file here in the utils folder so new file that is error handler dot js so i'm going to create here error handler class so first of all let's have a class error oops, handler so now if you don't know object oriented programming then whenever we type here class name, then it is like a convention to start every word with a capital letter like this, if you don't know, all right? So I'm going to use here extends, extends the error. So in this case, this error, uh, this error is the parent class of uh, this error handle class. We are, we are using the inheritance uh, and we are inheriting it from the error class which is the parent class in this case this is a child class this is a parent class and we are performing inheritance here okay and now first of all in the class i'm going to create constructor and constructor has two things first of all the message or like the error error message and then the error code like this code like for four four hundred or five hundred so this that is the error code we have to pass two things the message and the error code so let's first of all call here this super function and pass in the message. So super stands for the constructor of the parent class. In this case, it will uh, it represents the error class constructor, right? So you have to pass this message in the parent class constructor using the super fan method. And after this, I'm going to set here this dot status code is equal to uh, not error code. That is status code. All right, so status code. And after setting the constructor, after that, I will simply type here one line, error dot capture stack trace. So you can see that here, uh, the error class has a function or a method that is uh, capture stack trace that will basically create dot stack property on this object. Which object? Now you can see that here we have to pass the object, target object, and then the constructor function. So first of all, we have to pass the object. I pass here this itself that will represent the object itself. And for the constructor, I will simply type here this dot constructor, the constructor of this object. All right. So this is our error handle class. We just have to pass two things, message and the status code. If you simply pass the message to the super class, uh, error class constructor, with the help of this super function then we have set up the status code here then we have used the capture stack trace function of the error class that will basically create dot stack property on a target object so we have to pass two things first of all the object i have passed this here the object itself then we have to pass here the constructor function so i simply type here this dot constructor the constructor of it uh, this of this object basically okay so we are done now we simply have to export it from here. So module dot exports equals to error handler. All right. So now we cannot use it right now because we have to create the error middleware and then we can use this error handle class to basically handle our errors. Like whenever, for example, if I want to show here uh, error, I will simply create here new error handler and pass here the message, which is this one. And then the code which is 404 in this case all right 
So in the next video, I'm going to create the error middleware and then we will uh, use this error handler to handle our errors.